What's up guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I want to share with you how you can spy on your competitors uh, when you're promoting your products and see how well they're doing. So our product is Diabetes Loophole, right? So let me type in a separate window, you know, I'll type in Diabetes Loophole. So there's a few products here, right? So Diabetes Loophole is a product we did when we first set up our landing page in one of my previous videos. So here's these websites. So if I open them in a new tab, right, you see here, and you see it go like that. So it looks pretty good. How do you know if it's successful? How do you figure that out? Of course, one way is to, um, is to spy on them and maybe throughout the course of a few weeks or a few days or a few months, check to see if they're still up there right? Uh, because if they're up there for a long time, most likely they're making money. No one's going to be having ads up for months and they're losing money, right? So if it's up for a long time, probably it's making money. Now, the problem with that is twofold. One is it's possible that even if there was a very successful website up there with a really high conversion rate, it was taken down just because we don't know what the reason is. There's infinite number of reasons why it could have been taken down. Um, Maybe the, the owner moved on to something else and he decided he doesn't want to do this anymore, right? You don't know. So you just missed a really good opportunity, which you could have found out right now. The other thing is, the other downside of this is, um, even if the owner did not quit, he may have changed the website. So he may have changed the layout entirely and kind of doing a split test, right? So if you do follow through in a few weeks or a few months, you'll find something different. So the question is, how do you spy on your competitors today? And what I'll be doing is I'll be using a special website called similarweb.com. I'll put the link in the description. It's entirely free. Uh, use it, guys. Use it. It's extremely useful. It's what helped me actually uh, make some of my money online, okay? So here's what we do. We're going to go to similarweb.com right here. Uh, like I said, it's entirely free and put in any website. Okay. So here I have google.com and it tells me information, right? So it tells me, for example, last month from February 17th, it had 28 billion visits. Not bad. Okay. Bounce rate. Um, that's how many people entered the page and then left. Okay. So 42 people went to the page and then they left. Okay. They didn't like Google. No one likes Google. I'm just kidding, but they left for whatever reason, okay? The other 58%, they carried on and they did search results and they clicked on something, right? Obviously, that's what Google's for. Um, so let's go over actually one of our competitors here. So I'm going to go to, you know, the first one, the diabetesloophole.com. That's a really nice domain name. Whoever, whoever did this is, wow, that is amazing. He must have gotten really lucky or he must have paid a lot for it. Because that's an incredible domain name. I mean, it's perfect, right, for this product. So let's click search and let's see how much traffic he's generating. Let's see what his traffic sources are. So as you can see here, wow, so this guy's doing really good. So last month, for last month, this web page had 530 visits, uh, down 43% from, I guess, the previous month. Average visit duration, 40 seconds. Pages per visit, 2.65. Now, if we go back to this page, let me see. Uh, well, there's only really one page, right? Yeah, so I guess they must have bought and then actually in so clicked buy now and then input their information, right? That's that three pages. Um, and the bounce rate is 50%. So that is incredible. So this by no means does mean that he's got the best landing page in the world. Let me copy it for all my promotions. What this means is that he's also probably using key terms, special key terms on Google or Bing, which again, we will go over into that. That's an entire, you know, few months worth of lessons into that. But what it means is that maybe also he's targeting certain keywords, right? Like buy diabetes plan. If people say to buy di or buy diabetes loophole in this case, if people say that, then they're ready to buy. Obviously, right? It's going to be 50% because if they're ready to buy, all they need to do is click that button and buy. They already know what they want to do. Okay. So let's see where his traffic is so as you can see his or her okay it's a hundred percent a hundred percent traffic from the us okay so what does that tell you maybe maybe you can target the us as well because it's doing pretty successful okay what else does it tell you it tells you that most of this uh most of his results are from search engines okay not from referrals so there's not enough data on referrals uh so don't worry about that Search, ooh, there's unfortunately not enough data on that as well. 
Um, so normally what it would tell you, right? In this case, unfortunately it does not. Let's try the other side. But what it would tell you is it would tell you sometimes actually what keywords. So here, it will tell you what keywords are typed in to get that result. That's incredible, okay? Um, that's amazing. And actually, actually, let's go to the actual diabetes loophole page uh, after this. One second. Let me, let's go to this one first. Let's go to this uh, competitor website first, and then we're going to actually go to the actual affiliate page, okay? So let me just try this real quick, and then I will show you uh, what the actual page is. So this one is not doing so well. As you can see, you know, only 14% of people are buying. By the way, by the way, by the way, um, this does not mean people are buying. This means they go to the next page. The next page is where you input your credit card and all that information. So it's possible once they went there, they left. Okay, so bounce rate 86 doesn't mean that 14% are buying. It means 14% go to the next page. You don't know how many of those people buy. Okay, so um, that's that. So let's look at this website. So this layout, it looks like, has a pretty good, I mean, 14% going to the next page, I'll take it. One out of seven people that are about to buy, I'll take it, right? So that's the layout that seems to work. So maybe should you copy this layout? Maybe, right? Should you copy this layout? Probably more likely so, right? This layout's got 50% bounce rate. So that's amazing. So again, this is something that you can only find from here, right? So let's go down. Ooh. So in this case, most of the his sources are from Vietnam. Um, most of them are from Vietnam. Actually, none are from U.S. I mean, U.S. is maybe a small portion. So this person focuses on Vietnam. So that that tells you something, right? Hey, maybe I should focus U.S. and Vietnam now, right? Uh, let's see. Traffic, again, most of them is search. 86% uh, search. Referrals, not enough data. Search, not enough data. Okay, so let's do this. Let's go into the actual diabetesloophole.com site. And we'll get some more information from there. So let's see. Now this is the actual website. This is like when you go on ClickBank, this is the actual website that you're going to see. Um, so it's not going to be as helpful for you, right? Uh, because it's not affiliates that are selling this. It's vendors that are selling it. So they have the advantage that they have affiliates selling for them, right? Um, so And they also have an established... SEO, they've probably been there for a while. And if you type in diabetes loophole, their result is probably the first that's going to come up. That's not going to be paid. It will not be an ad. It will be organic, right? So that's pretty cool. So let's look at this. So this one's actually 45% bounce rate. So that's amazing. That means 55% of the people go to the next page. They don't leave. They don't exit out. Um, last month, it had 100,000 visitors. So I mean, you can imagine 100,000 visitors. That's a lot, right? That, that's a shitload of visitors, right? Average visit duration about two minutes, pages per visit about two. So they do visit, so they do go to the next page, most of them. Most of the target here is from the United States. Again, what does that tell you? United States, Vietnam, United States, Vietnam, right? Probably those two are the biggest ones now. Let's go to the next one, traffic sources. Now, this is uh, an established site. It's it, it doesn't really pay anymore. It has affiliates doing it for them. So it, 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 it just has the established SEO that's getting organic traffic. When you tap in diabetes loophole, this is probably the first page that's going to come up that's going to be organic, right? And I, I mean, actually, let's, let's see. Let's type in diabetes loophole. Let's see where it comes up. Okay. So in this case here, in this case, it's here down at the bottom, really. But that's still good, right? It's still down there. It's got a nice name. Um, so in this particular case, okay, maybe it's not at the forefront, but I have seen some ClickBank offers that I work on that are at the very, very front, okay? Uh, so that's that's amazing. Um, that's cool. So let's look at that. So where is the traffic coming from? Well, 20% is from referrals. Uh, the other ones is from destination sites. So these are basically websites that are promoting it. Um, ClickBank, obviously, so 20% is coming, the sales, 20% is coming from ClickBank. Everything else is coming from other sites. If you want to see more, you may have to pay. Um, get all destination. Now, I do have this pro membership. It's completely free. Uh, you, you do have some more options available, such as you can see like the last three months performance, for example, with free membership, but you can't go as far as, for example, two years, okay? But still, sign up for a free membership. It doesn't cost you anything. Uh, in regards to this, 
So as you can see here, this is the organic keywords that are put in. These are the paid keywords. So unfortunately, this is not an affiliate site, so we can't really get much information from this because these guys, they don't, they don't do paid ad like we have to do, right, as affiliates. But uh, this is basically the word that apparently works, diabetes doom. Let's see what we get when we type in diabetes doom. Well, in this case, when people type in diabetes doom, they land on this page somehow. I don't know. I don't know why it's not showing up here. Uh, but the biggest, as you can see here, the biggest paid keyword is diabetes doom. Let me, let me just see something. Is it one of the paid? So it says it's paid, right? So it should be somewhere... Here's a, okay, so maybe maybe in the past they had a paid ad where they said you know target diabetes doom. Uh, so here, as you can see, diabetes loophole. I don't know why it doesn't give the percentage. Uh, well, I guess it's a really small percentage here. So this thing, that's the organic keyword, right? And when we typed in diabetes loophole, that's what we saw. We saw that ad it was not at the forefront, but it was still good. It was on the first page, and they they're not paying anything. Remember that. Uh, you know, one percent is from social, so Facebook. YouTube and LinkedIn. So all of this comprises that 1%. Uh, display advertising. <clears throat> so display ads. So again, ClickBank here is the, the biggest uh, source for them. Uh, but they also have all these other ones like YouTube and, ad and Google, obviously. That's, that, that's big. Uh, gives you some more information here. So <clears throat> just some basic stuff. There's similar sites. Um, so that's, I mean, that's what I wanted to show you. This is some incredibly useful information we got from just this. I mean, we're, we're, we're not even free members. We're just users on the internet that are using this. And we already got so much information. What did we get? We learned that it's really effective in the United States. We learned that it, out of about 400 people per month, about 50% of the people go to the next page. We also learned that this does work in Vietnam for some reason, right? Um, on another web page, most of the traffic was <clears throat> coming from Vietnam and, and it had a decent uh, conversion rate. It had about 15% of people going to the next page. Uh, what, what else did we learn? We learned some, some good keywords to use, right? Now, obviously, like I said, unfortunately, <clears throat> it's hard to use for this. But if you have a uh, competitor that, that, that had his site up for longer, you can get some really valuable information from this. You can see what keywords they're using, right? You can see what, I mean, chances for them getting organic keywords are low, but but the paid keywords. You can see their traffic sources as well and what they are using. If they're using Google AdWords, are they using Bing? Are they not using Yahoo at all? Maybe there's a reason for that, okay? So that's what I wanted to share with you. Use this site absolutely when you're promoting anything. You do need to look at your competitors and see what they have going on and check out their layout. Obviously, it's working, right, based on what this says. So I hope that helped. If you guys have questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. Uh, please subscribe for those of you that have subscribed. Thank you. I do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video.